I'm going to go over three of the derivations from the lectures um, in a fairly short way, but we'll cover them with direct notation. I hope you find these useful. So first of all, we're going to think about how to expand a function in a complete basis set. So let's assume that we have a set of eigenfunctions of an operator. So the operator will be A, um, and each eigenfunction will be labeled as N, and when A operates on N, we get the eigenvalue A N, and we returned with the eigenvector. So using this, let's first of all consider the coefficients of an expansion. We assume that we're going to write a general state of the system, ket psi, as a sum over n of some coefficient cn multiplied by the eigenvector n, ket n. We will derive that for bra m overlapping with ket psi, that's going to equal bra m overlapping with the sum over the ket's little n. We'll now take m inside, sorry, got that wrong, let me just delete that. We will now take the ket, the bra inside the sum, so we will have sum over n, cn, bra m, ket n. Now as this is equal, as mn is equal to delta mn, when we do the sum over n, only n is equal to m survives. So that shows us that we are left only with cm. So we can write that bra m ket psi is equal to cm. And we now have a formula for calculating the coefficients of the expansion. Secondly, I'm going to consider the proof that the eigenvalues of a Hermitian operator are real. We did this in lectures, um, but I'll just go over it again. So we start from a acting on ket n being equal to little a n ket n. We will then contract that with bra n. So we have bra n a hat ket n is equal to little a n bra n ket n, which is of course just equal to little a n. So we now have two numbers. We have the number bra n a hat ket n, and we have the number little a n. So we're going to take the complex conjugate of both of these numbers. So I will write this as follows. So we have the contraction with a little star above it is equal to a n with a star above it. Now to take the complex conjugate of the contraction, we simply swap the order of the bra and the ket, but as they're the same that doesn't change anything, and we take the Hermitian conjugate of a, but as that's Hermitian that stays the same. So let me write that as n a dagger n is equal to bra n a hat ket n must equal a n star. But now we have two quantities which are the same. This implies that a n is equal to a n star, therefore a n must be real. Finally, I will just briefly consider the expectation value. Again, remember that we're taking this in a general state psi. So we write the expectation value as a hat within angled brackets, and we're saying that we're evaluating this in a state psi, which we write like that. Now, as we have psi defined above, we can work out a acting on ket psi, which is just a acting on the sum over n of cn n, which again is equal to the sum over n of cn a acting on ket n, which is cn little a n, ket n. I'm sorry, I've gone off the edge of the page there, but I think you can see what I'm doing. We now contract that with 
left side as a bra. Um, and now we're going to use a different index. We're going to use M instead of N. We must have CM star and we will have bra M. I'll put brackets around that and we're going to act with that on sum over little n c n a n ket n. That's going to equal the sum over m and n of c m star c n a n bra m. Uh, I've made a mistake again. Ket n. Now, when we do the sum over m, only m equals n survives. So now we see that we have a sum over little n of cn star cn an, which is just the sum over n of the square modulus of cn multiplied by an which is the result we derived in lectures. Let me know if you find these derivations helpful or if you're still confused and we'll see what we can do.